Ngayon, pinaalis niya kasi nakatira ako sa ano, Cavite. Doon ko naman nakilala yung isa kong asawa. Kasi nagtrabaho po ako sa Cavite. Ngayon, nagkakilala kami nung pangalawa kong asawa. Eh, wala kami matirahan. Kaya yung ate ko, pinaalis niya yung muungkwad dito. Kaya kami yung pinalit niya. So right now, we have uh, almost half of the world population that live uh, in urban areas. And actually, half of that increase in urbanization is to be directly connected with migration. Um, but it is important to mention that it is not international migration. A lot of that actually is internal. Internal migration in the Philippines is very rapid. Most the residents of Pateros are the inhabitants itself. But uh, some, uh, most of the time, it tends to admit more from residents from outside of our municipality. Cities are providers of services. So the way they're going to provide services to the population will have a major bearing on how migrants are going to fare or not in the host societies where, where they find themselves. Uh, dito po sa aming barangay, uh, kung sakaling meron darating na bagong uh, titira dito sa aming lugar, uh, sinisiguro po namin na dumaan po sila sa barangay upang mabilang sila sa RBI namin na tinatawag na Registry of Barangay Inhabitants, masama sila sa bilang ng populasyon dito sa barangay. At malaman po rin namin ang bawat household kung sino po yung mga tao na laman ng bahay. Ano po, na uh, pumupunta po dito si uh, namin kagawad at saka yung mga kapitan, nagsasabi po sila sa amin na meron ganito, ganito. Kaya pumupunta po ako. In densely populated urban areas, concerted efforts need to be taken to ensure the safety and well-being of those living there. This is especially important when working in areas that are vulnerable to natural hazards. Urban planning must therefore consider the risks of disaster and put in place strategies to reduce the chances of displacement. Urban development must come always with uh, disaster and climate risk adjustments. So our local government unit is continuously uh, moving on with the community risk assessment programs on disaster risk and climate change variabilities. Ano po, yung paglipat ko po sa Pateros, dito po ako nakadanas ng ganitong merong earthquake. The MEN project, or the Mass Evacuations in Natural Disasters project, is a resilience building project for three vulnerable communities. We expect a 7.2 magnitude earthquake to hit the region sometime in this generation. The idea of the project is to support local government units and the communities themselves to prepare for this disaster. So we provided them with technical support and training. These beneficiaries that we identified will be the ones who are most likely to lose their homes. Should this earthquake of large movement happens in Metro Manila, uh, we know now what to do. And especially on the local government unit level and the barangay officials, we know now how to manage evacuation camps. We simulated an actual earthquake with an identified family. We asked them to do the simulation of the duck over and hold for us. Nung kami natutulog, binising ko po yung mga kasama ko sa bahay. Uh, bumaba po kami at mm, nagtago sa ilalim ng lamesa. 
Ano kung halimbawa man tumating man ang ganang bagay na yun, eh, mag-uusap po kami mag-iina, mga pamilya ko, na maghanda na para kung halimbawa man na dumating yung pagkakataon na yun, eh, hindi kami maanuhan. When cities have a better understanding of displacement risks, they can improve urban development outcomes for the benefit of all.